Hi, my name is Willie Lubon. I am the trainer and the recruiter for Fastenal Manufacturing here in Winona, Minnesota. And I'd like to welcome you to our shop today. We're gonna try and take a little bit of a virtual tour of our facility. I hope to show you some of the cool stuff that we make, some of the cool machines we operate, and uh, give you some background as to what it would take to get into a career as a machinist at Fastenal Manufacturing. So a day in the life of a machinist here at Fastenal is pretty diverse, and that's one of the things that really drew me to Fastenal. We have five teams in the shop. Each team is set up in individual cells, and our machinists actually run several pieces of equipment within that cell. Our goal is to teach and train each machinist to be able to take apart from a blueprint in a two-dimensional view and actually set up the part program the CNC machine and run the part through all of its operations before it is a completed part and that machinist is actually the one that's putting it in the box. So from start to finish, it's one machinist making that part. It gives that machinist a very diverse day and they don't have to worry about the feeling that they're sitting on an assembly line doing the same thing over and over and over again. When we get to the larger runs, we've got two different style of machines that we would often run them in. And one is our Swiss style machine. That is a machine that really focuses well on long, small diameter parts. If we need to do large quantities of larger diameter parts, we have some Doosan twin turret machines that have two turrets in them and a subspindle that can machine two parts at once. We've got two types of machines that do that. Doosan makes a twin turret machine, and so does Mazak. And our Mazak machines are our newest machines here in the shop. They're pretty powerful machines, and it's all touchscreen. Something that's a little different that we do here at Fastenal Manufacturing that a lot of other machine shops have absolutely no ability to do is hot forged parts. So here in Winona, we have a division that we actually call Cardinal Fastener, and we make hot forge parts by instead of removing material from the raw blank, we actually heat it up to approximately 2,000 degrees, and then we stamp it in a pre-made die that actually forces that blank to take the shape of the die. After that, we've got a heat treat facility in-house that can take that part and actually harden it to a certain specification. Our heat treat facility really was born out of a necessity of being able to really keep a close eye on our quality of our product as well as our lead time. One of the biggest things that we noticed when we started doing our own heat treat process was we spent a lot less time bending bent parts back into straightness when they came back from our heat treaters. We specifically take the time to line up each part in the basket to try and avoid any warps or bends or anything that would occur when we heat those parts up and quench them. Our coating line is relatively new to our manufacturing facility. It's one of the processes just like heat treat that we decided to bring in-house. It's a process that adds a specialized coating to the part that will help it stand up better to the elements outside. A lot of our customers in automotive or the military actually will use those coated fasteners in their products. Some of the parts that we do require certain grades and specifications and we have an A2LA accredited lab that is right in our manufacturing facility. They can do tensile testing, they can do Sharpie testing. Those are both destructive tests where we actually break the part. They also have the opportunity to do non-destructive tests such as liquid penetrant testing to check for minute cracks that you can't see with your naked eye. I always like to end our tours in our tool room. Our tool room is actually our internal shop that we utilize to make the dies and the fixtures that we need in order to make our customers parts. So 
This tool room is kind of blocked off from the rest of the shop. You can see it's got some manual equipment in it. It's got some CNC equipment in it. This is where the folks that really like the challenge of doing a one or a two piece order and holding it to super tight tolerances or, or having to get it right, this is where they thrive. So many people think that manufacturing is one of those careers that, you know, grandpa used to do. It's dark, dirty, dungy. I think when you see our video and our tour of our shop, you're going to realize that, you know, we've got a really well-lit shop. It's clean. We actually mop the floors in this. That's almost unheard of for a machine shop. And the automation that is available to us as a machine shop today is just incredible. But it's also not one of those things that is going to take careers or take jobs away from people because the robots that we use are collaborative. That means that they work with a machinist to help take out some of those mundane tasks that you have to do as a machinist. And it's not something that can be completely automated to just walk away from, turn the lights off and, and let it be. What makes a good machinist? We really, really want somebody who likes to work with their hands Somebody who's maybe taken some shop classes in high school, whether it be wood shop or metal shop, and really thought, you know, this is kind of neat. I, I get a chance to create. I, I get to be a craftsman. Attention to detail is a good trait. And the other thing that some people don't always think of right off the bat is their math skills. I'm not trying to scare people who said I didn't like math because one of the things that I really found is those people that struggled with uh, the way they teach algebra in the high school sometimes is that they didn't have a reason. But when you're actually looking at a blueprint, machining is essentially taking a blueprint with some dimensions on it, and we're turning it into a 3D part from that two-dimensional drawing. Now all of a sudden it all comes together and you've got a reason to do that math. One of the things that we're pretty proud of that we do on a regular basis is our sponsorship program. What we'll do is we will sponsor up to 10 students a year to take classes at Southeast Tech. And when they graduate, as long as they've got a B average or better in class, they've got excellent attendance in school and at work, we will guarantee them a full-time job upon graduation and we start paying them back their tuition and books. So every six months, they're gonna get a quarter of their tuition and books paid back to them until it's 100% paid for. Fastenal is a big promoter of growth from within. And if you look at our team leads and our supervisors, our manufacturing operations managers, they've all got a unique story. But the cool thing is, is that they all started at that entry level position. Thanks for taking the time to view our virtual tour of Fastenal Manufacturing here in Winona. If you have any other questions about a career or an opportunity that may exist at Fastenal Manufacturing, feel free to reach out to me at wlubon at fastenal.com.